nothing but cap. Fuck Cleveland. I hope this shit get the whole city mad. Be right that comment if we ain't talking about you. You just not popping that little system. Pissed off all the street niggas by saying fuck Cleveland and her song uh, Mission Complete. Trying to diss one motherfucker individually, Trey V. And now she even said fuck Cleveland. And motherfuckers is irate about it. Since then, she has apologized about it. But within the apology, she said that motherfuckers need to not be sensitive. Being from New York, you would think that you would understand. You can't just talk about home like that. A no scale industry or local, you have never heard somebody say fuck a city and be in that city and it worked out. Ain't shit about to happen to her anyways. What is the repercussions for saying fuck Cleveland and Cleveland? First of all, I'm not sure if she's white, but in the beginning of the song, she might be Puerto Rican or something, but I know she a blood, so in the beginning of the song, she was real comfortable saying nigga, and she, it rolled off real comfortably. Is that she got a nigga pass or something? I ain't gonna check it. I ain't gonna back it. It looks like a white girl is saying that. A lot of you motherfuckers are saying, oh, I'm so sick of Cleveland. Fuck I can't wait to leave. You just said it too. How the fuck you gonna be mad at her for saying fuck Cleveland when you just said it? When most of y'all motherfuckers say it under y'all breath anyway. Hey, Cleveland, I need to get the fuck out of here. I ain't shit in Cleveland. Now, nah, artists come out and say y'all just mad that she's saying it because she white or look white. One, ain't nobody about to put their hands on a white woman. If she is black or Puerto Rican, I guarantee you she can snap in the white mode. On top of that, no dude about to hit her. So, yeah, maybe she might not get booked in the city. This is something that can definitely be looked over, but when you're dissing one person, you want to stick on that one motherfucker. You want to kind of keep the whole city out of that shit. She got a little bit of shit to explain, which I feel like she did apologize for. The only pe people who got something to explain is Uzi Susie and Trey V. Because Trey V, this this is bad, brother. And y'all know I fuck with Trey V. I really fuck with Trey V, but the shit is just bad as fuck. Because it's like, dude, did all this shit really happen to you, bro? We're in this era, and supposedly... Apparently, she had paid him for a video, and she didn't get the video back, and now he got pressed. And you hear that shit happen to a lot of video directors. It's never happened to me, because I've always done good business. I had one close call. Shout out to Sia Sevens. He got that shit, uh, you know, flattened out. But other than that, that would have been an ugly situation. But she... You gotta give people back their shit, man. You gotta give them their videos back on time. Motherfuckers ain't gonna keep playing with you. Now, usually a diss track will hurt, but, bro, this one really hurt because she went in on your ass, bro. And y'all know I fuck with Trey V because Trey V embodies everything that I had believed in for a videographer to be back when I started and everybody was just, you know, camera geek club motherfuckers, but to turn video directors into rock stars, Trey V has really embodied my image for that. Per se, but this, this this ain't supposed to be happening, bro. This this ain't supposed to be fucking happening. But Uzi Susie, I don't know why you let someone say "fuck Cleveland" while you're in that video without explanation, like without explanation right there on the fact. Now she don't owe that explanation to nobody but her. But we in the congregation will feel comfortable, uh, comfortable. Knowing that you had that conversation with her about that before, like, oh, what you, what you mean about this? Now, is it going to make the whole city talk? Yeah. Is it a good idea to drop another hit song right about now? Yeah. Is Nuggets going to do something about it? No. So, there's no consequences for saying fuck Cleveland outside of not getting booked here. But I've seen a lot of artists go their whole career without a stop in CLE so I don't think it really that matters it seems like a lot of people are going to Akron now anyways and they're going to Toledo and they're going to fucking you know Cincinnati and shit it don't even seem like a lot of people are even trying to stop here I've even seen people stop in Youngstown and not even touch Cleveland go straight past to Detroit so you can make it without Cleveland. I know I ain't gonna do shit. What the fuck I'm gonna do about it besides make a video about it? I mean, I honestly didn't give a fuck the second you said it. Because you can come to a city and you have your own fucking up, fucked up experience and shit. That's your experience. I know a lot of people. Cray V, uh, you should have just got on with Lil Sis, bro. Y'all should have just been a couple or something. I don't know. Hey, I could have worked that out, but that was the wrong feet to step on on that one. And Trey V, I hope that you would, you know, Iron this situation out. Meraw.com, get in the comment section. Tell me what the fuck you think. What y'all think? Is this like, can she come back from this? Is it possible to really come back from saying fuck a city 
Well, I think at this level, she's at the part in her career where she can learn the do's and do nots. And this is a do not, but I don't think it'll kill her. I think she can come back from this. On top of that, girl, you just got nominated for a Legends Award, so we all gonna see you there. Me, I'm getting the conversation. Ah!